Latifa's story is one of pain and agony. Oh, a because <laughs> And I'm sir agent in it no need me. And see now do only fear ye Aja Ed and Midi Bay Edma. No midi Edma. Midi Edma be drew by a phenomenon to me. I de chia ye wo a debi or how moon one so she say we yum we are would be tari we yum. I de chia me nuan so she and I'm dear goa yinum. No me dear tari me yum, no much shame in tali agusu, no me de juma. She says there are thousands of young Ghanaian women still in Lebanon and need to be evacuated. And I'm a I'm me Edi marab ne edi sika edi because me ma semun ba e no agent ni ka chire mi se are omoton me edi ma no ente nya de obe ma ma city free aku mi kru mu da edi se ma som ko pom em bra me contrast be en dance na ma ko mi kru she was grateful to Ghana's ambassador to Lebanon for the support extended to her while in Beirut. Ambassador, Yamin Shira Papa, a radin to Unconum, and Yawintia, and Cane Yenia. Three other ladies arrived back home feeling poorly. This lady gave her name as Grace, but was not prepared to extend grace to the people in Lebanon, whom she alleged maltreated her. Some women treat her bad, they are real to treat them bad. Yeah, back to my community 25, they track or oh, no more, they should go back. I want no more energy drink. They should go back. We don't need them. Most of them are arriving or arrived on travel certificates. So we have to authenticate their nationality to be sure if they are indeed Ghanaians. And then other people we receive today, I can say for sure that they are all Ghanaians. The arrival of the latest group of over 300 brings to about 600 the number of young Ghanaian women stranded in Lebanon. They've all been sent into quarantine for two weeks. Edward Nyakum. Reporting for GBC News.